this is a blockage here, and this is a 90% blockage in that artery. When Chris's St. Patrick Hospital interventional cardiologist Dr. Thomas Mulhern sees images like this, he knows the patient's peripheral arterial disease is in a serious stage. Your risk of having a heart attack over five years is about 30%, and actually one in five people that have peripheral arterial disease will be dead in five years. Peripheral arterial disease, or PAD, is a life-threatening condition affecting one in 20 Americans over the age of 50. The symptoms might start off subtle, but grow to impact everyday tasks. Pain in the legs when you walk, or cramping in the calf or buttocks area when you walk, inability or fatigue in the legs, inability to walk a long distance that you were previously able to do, uh, ulcers that can occur in the feet that are non-healing or wounds that don't heal in the lower extremities. PAD treatment starts with lifestyle changes, including diet and exercise. The next step of the disease has progressed is to clean the plaque out of the artery and use a stent or balloon to keep it open, something that was just a temporary fix before the introduction of drug-coated balloons. Typically in the first six months, we see re-narrowing in the artery after a procedure like this or a stent, and that drug has been specifically developed, and this is a really novel technique to prevent that re-narrowing. Dr. Mulhern says a tiny rotor type device is put into the narrowed artery to remove the plaque. Next, a drug-coated balloon is inserted. It goes in the artery very compressed, and then we blow up that balloon, and the outside of that balloon is coated with a drug, and that drug in this case is called paclitaxel, and that drug is taken up by the wall of the blood vessel, and that prevents that re-narrowing of the artery. The balloon is tiny, but has a mega task of keeping the blood flowing to the lower extremities. It's five millimeters in diameter, 100 millimeters long. The procedure takes one hour and patients typically go home the same day with no more PAD pain and a much lower risk for PAD related death. At your service with HealthCast, Brittany Glazer, KPLC 7 News.